offering of the Holy Mass. Accept Most Holy Trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, for death, amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, forth, we beseech, we beseech you, you, O Lord, Lord Son of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to your Eucharistic celebration, Sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle. Today, of St. Aloysius Gonzaga, religious, the priests and brothers of the Society of St. Paul offer this Mass for all your intentions. of Pope Francis, the intentions of our Superior General, Father Valdir Jose de Castro, SSP, all doctors, nurses, health workers, medical practitioners, and all frontliners who are fighting COVID-19, all intentions offered through some Buhay TV Mass, Mass Association. For the special intentions of George Vargas, Alcantara and Arsenio family, Gilberto Advincula and family, Dr. Fay Bautista, Sam and Sid Bautista, Anne Delaney, Francis Dan Esteban, Joy Salvador and family, Cynthia Flores, Eduardo M. Peliz, Ashley Villacastin, Kyle Marco Barte, Oliver Milosis, Junji Celerio, Maria Lordan Olandria, Janos Jagmo, Shelly Joshua Andrino, Sai, George Pashon, Hasmin Casal, May Sibyl, Dex John Dexter Civitilio and family, 
J.V. and Christine Borja, Angelo Olan, Kim Kerr, June Thomas, Therese Thomas, Co Family, Kate and Rowell Canlasa Family, Elgar, Maria Galang and Family, Lalang and Family, and Geraldine Ermetano. For the Thanksgiving of Alcantara Family, June. Gualberto Celino Jr., Castro Celino, Sister Melanie, and Maria Takeda and family. For the birthday Thanksgiving of Rigidor, Sonia Pagalaran, Marquis Emmanuel Lacer SSP, Jamie Domingo, Gemma Baldon, Maria Luisa Figo. Teresita Doctolero, Hazel, Iam e. Rose Bugia. For the good health of Norma Regidor, Sonia Pagalanan, Father Chris Emanuel Acer SSP, Jamie Domingo, Gemma Baldon, Maria Luisa Figueroa, Teresita Hazel Rimundo, Iam e. Rose Pugui. For the healing and recovery of Herbert Garong, Francisco Baldo Arsenio, Gilberto Advincula, Lorena Atrias, Lourdes de Guzman, Lia Itao, Anne Kathleen Anacom, Rosalindo de Jesus, Armando and Nino Sabayas, Sabel. Anacleto Bergano, Lutgaro Escandor, Rosenda Inot, Lovret Pile, Maria Carolina Gamir, Teresita Doctolero, Father Ju Joshua Noel Campos, Karen Kapal, Gina Srano, Donna Livardo, Narciso Diaz Salvador, Rafael Ugmat, and Maria Banusing. Pose of the souls of Gertrude Spenia. Antonio Guzman, Alan Aklan, Romeo Aklan, Jovia de Guzman, John, Jerome, Puresa, and Cornelio Arreño, Florentino and Caridad Marquez, Gregorio and Loretta Aspuri, Carpio Cabrera, Lorenzo Rivadulla Jr., Edwin Batersal, Ambrosio Nina Angeles Ruby Father Arnold Santa Maria OSA Marie Elis Elizabeth Guanzon Dizon Ronaldo Ordonez Tolero Elena Hao Re Anton Riggs Gerutias Mayat Imperial Ernesto Quintanar J. Andre Gama Batista Guinness, Roberto Gozun, Francis Santos, Filomeno Leonora Victoria, Floro and June Tadena, Siriaco Pasita, Salvador and Armando Oxon, Alexander Flores, Ambet Cervantes, Joseph, Joseph Geraldine, Elio, Sefing and Feli Tomas, Manuel Vera, Severino Bonifacio Concio, Melmi Roldan Orbico, Antopina, Rowena Dairid. For all the souls in purgatory, especially those who are of COVID-19. Entrance Antiphon The clean of hands and pure of heart shall climb the mountain of the Lord, 
and stand in his holy place. We begin our Eucharistic celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers God. and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts God and in my words, words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my mold. Therefore, Therefore I, ask I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have mercy. Christ, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, giver of heavenly gifts, who in St. Aloysius Gonzaga joined penitence to a wonderful innocence of life, grant through his merits and intercession that though we have failed to follow him in innocence, we may imitate him in penitence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from the land of your kinsfolk and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. All the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. Abram went as the Lord directed him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he left Haran. Abram took his wife Sarai, his brother's son Lot, all the possessions that they had accumulated, and the persons they had acquired in Haran. And they set out for the land of Canaan. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abraham passed through the land as, as far as the sacred place at Shechem by the Tervent of More. The Lord appeared to Abraham and said, To your descendants I will give this land. So Abraham built an altar there to the Lord, but appeared to him. From there he moved on the hill, hill country east of Bethel, pitching his tent with Bethel to the west and I to the east. He built an altar there to the Lord and invoked the name of, and invoked the Lord by name. Then Abraham journeyed on, journeyed on by stages to the Negev. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the, blessed the Lord, the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for, for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. 
Blessed are the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Blessed are the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Please all rise. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging that you may not be judged. For you, for as you judge, so you will be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me remove that splinter from your eye, while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Muli isang mapagpalang araw sa ating mga kasambuhay na nakikiisa sa ating misa via online. Isa sa mga ginagawa nating defense mechanism every time nagkakasala tayo, every time na may masama na nangyayari sa atin ay ang manisi ng iba ang manisi ng ibang tao o manisi ng isang bagay. Halimbawa, kapag nagkakasakit na tayo dahil sa ating paninigarilyo, kahit na ang mga sigarilyo, mga pakete na yan, meron ng mga images, meron ng mga warning, sira yung baga, payat na, yung babae na nanigarilyo, tinanggalan na ng isang breast, sigarilyo pa rin tayo ng sigarilyo. At kung malubha na ang sakit, ano ang sisisihin? Ang sigarilyo. Sasabihin, Diyos ko, sino kaya ang nakainvento ng sigarilyo na to? Nagkaroon tuloy ako ng lung cancer, tuberculosis. Ang sisisihin, ang mga kaibigan, nag sa atin. Ito kasing mga kaibigan ko, sila ang nag sa akin. Manigarilyo. Kaya yun, nagkasakit ako ng tuberculosis. So we see. My dear brothers and sisters, itong attitude of blaming, itong attitude of passing judgment on others, this is something we have inherited from our first parents. It's already in our DNA. Remember, if we go back to the book of Genesis, sa Garden of Eden Sin, anong nangyari? Pagkatapos na pagkatapos kainin nila Adan at Eva ang ipinagbabawal na putas na pagkain, ano ang sinabi ng Diyos? Bakit nyo kinain? ang ipinagbabawal na putas na ito, ang pagkain na ito, ano ang ginawa ni Adan? Ang una niyang ginawa, sinisi niya kaagad si Eva. Dahil kasi ito sa babae na itinudyo, kinuha mo sa aking tadyang. Ang sinisi naman ni Eva, kung ano, ang ahas. 
So we see, ito ang ating na-inherit na mana. Kaya nga, sila, hindi nila kayang matanggap. Hindi nila kayang tanggapin ang kanilang pagkukulang, ang pagkakasala sa Diyos. So ganun din ang nangyayari sa ating buhay. Ito ang namana natin sa kanila. Na every time nagkakasala tayo, every time na merong masamang nangyayari sa atin, naghahanap tayo palagi ng masisisi. Instinct na, matik na, na mag, magkaroon tayo ng kasalanan, magkaroon tayo ng sakit, meron tayong palaging sinisisi. So, we are not like any other animals which are dictated only by their instinct. Kasi ang hayop, kapag gutom yan sila ang instinct palagi, hahanap ng pagkain. Pag nakakita ng pagkain yan, kahit hindi sa kanila, kakainin ka agad yan. Ang hayop, pag dinidiktahan yan sila ng instinct nila na mag-procreate anytime, anywhere, kahit sa harap mismo ng tao, mag-procreate yan. Hindi yan sila nag-iisip ng kahihiyan. And this is what the Lord, this is what Jesus wants us to realize. We humans are the only being created by God not only with instinct, but with reason. Kaya nga, sabi ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo, stop judging. As, stop judging so that you may not be judged. Huwag kang padalos-dalos maghusga para hindi ka mahusgahan. In other words, my dear brothers and sisters, the Lord is telling us, use your reason. Go in peace. Take time to realize. You journey inside. You journey inward where God awaits you to be humble enough para i-express ang nothingness, ang ating sinfulness. Baka kasi sa sobrang laki na ng muta ng ating mata, sa sobra ng laki ng muta na nasa ating mata, feeling natin muta na yan ng iba. Sa kakahusga natin na mabaho ang ating kapwa, we do not realize na mas malapit pala ang bibig natin kaysa sa, il- sa ilong natin. So every time na nagsasalita tayo, ang baho pala ng bibig ang naaamoy natin pero ang husga natin sa kapwa. So ito ang gusto ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na mangyari. Tanggalin muna kung ano mga pagkakasala natin sa katayong manghusba. Husga ka. So I believe, my dear brothers and sisters, dito papasok ang itinuturo sa atin ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ang approach sa ating mga earring brothers, ang fraternal correction. Fraternal correction is different from passing judgment. Fraternal correction is different from condemning others. Kasi sa fraternal correction, may concern ka. Nagpapakita ka ng pagmamahal, ng mercy and compassion sa earring brothers. Sa passing judgment, on the other hand, sa condemning others, may conclusion ka na. Kahit hindi pa ginagawa, ng kapwa mo ang isang kasalanan, ginajudge mo na siya. I remember, isa sa mga ka-office mates ko doong nagtatrabaho pa ako during my postulance days, ito na aking office mate, inaayawan siya ng karamihan sa amin. Inaayawan siya dahil clumsy, parang slow learner, Parang wala sa sarili palagi. So, ganito ang attitude niya. Kahit ako, I can testify on that. One day, pinagsama kami sa isang department. Nung office mate ko na yun. 
So hindi kami nagpapansinan kasi ayaw ko rin siya makasama. And one day, only to find out, wala kaming choice kundi mag-communicate sa isa't isa. Only to find out. Kaya pala ganun ang karanasan niya. Clumsy siya, mahina ang kanyang mababa, ang kanyang self-confidence. Wala siyang tiwala sa sarili niya. He had a traumatic experience with his father. Kasi nung bata pa siya, he was a battered child. Palagi siyang sinasaktan. Palagi siyang binubugbog ng kanyang tatay. Doon ako nagkaroon ng guilt. Na mag- naging mapaghusga pala ako sa aking kapwa. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, sometimes pala, bago tayo manghusga sa kapwa natin, importante na makilala natin siya. Importante malaman natin kung bakit niya na dinadanas ang ganyang karanasan. And I believe, my dear brothers and sisters, in one way or another, we are all wounded in all aspects in life. Psychologically, physically, and spiritually. Lahat tayo ay sugatan. Now, sugatan ka, sugatan ako. Now, allow me to touch and heal your wounds. And I will allow you to touch and heal mine. Yan po ang gusto mangyari sa atin ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Instead of passing judgment on others, instead of condemning others, we are called to be healers, though wounded. We are now called to be a wounded healers. We, instead of passing judgment, instead of condemning others, we are called to show mercy, compassion, and love for one another. And I believe, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the reason why Jesus continuously gives himself in the Eucharist. Sa Eucharist, Jesus gives himself to us. Hindi para husgahan tayo, kundi to bring us healing. To touch and to heal our entire life. And this is what also what Pope Francis said. Pope Francis is always correct. Indeed, Pope Francis is correct in saying the Eucharist is not a reward for a righteous, but it is always a remedy for sinners like us. May God bless all of us. We are guilty of hypocrisy when we notice the faults of others and close our eyes to our own uh, even bigger faults. Let us ask the Lord the grace to refrain from condemning because we are not aware of what is going on in the human heart. Lord, give us an understanding heart. Lord, give us an understanding heart. May church leaders follow the example of St. Paul who said, I discipline my body for fear that, after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. We pray. Lord, give us an understanding heart. May political le- leaders set aside narrow preconceptions and listen carefully to simple people and the youth, allowing them to make their own contributions to the community. We pray. Lord, give us an understanding heart. May our communication through the net become an opportunity opportunity to share stories and experiences of beauty or suffering rather than occasion to spread gossips and fake news to, to denigrate others, we pray. Lord, give us an understanding heart. May we 
others, do so with humility, understanding, and love. And never out of sense of superiority, we pray. Lord, give us an understanding of May judges and law enforcers see that imprisonment is not just to repress offenders, but to reform them for eventual integration in the society. We pray. Lord, give us an understanding heart. Almighty God, Jesus said that he be the first to cast the stone at the woman caught in adultery. Only Jesus is without sin, but he did not condemn her. May we refrain from condemning others and be forgiving, for we ourselves have received your forgiveness. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine in work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that by the example of St. Aloysius, we may take our place at the heavenly banquet, clothed always in our wedding garment, so that by participation in this mystery, we may possess the riches of your grace. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Aloysius, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayer. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as we doubt and we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. In your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our Apostolic Administrator, Jose, our, Apostol our Archbishop-elect, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your name. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and O God Almighty Father, in the union of the Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and live and ever. Amen. And with your spirit, let us offer the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin. Blessed are those called 
to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer During Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Communion Antiphon The eyes of all, of all look to you, Lord, and you give them their food in due season. Let us pray. Bring us who have been fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of life. Having the example of Saint Aloysius, whom we honor, and we persevere in constant thanksgiving. To our Lord. Amen. We pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even lame lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people thus to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they protect those who care for them. Grant eternal Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. We fly to Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Blessed James Alberione, pray for us. Blessed Timothy Jacardo, pray. For
The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for celebrating the Eucharist with us. God bless you all. We now invite you to pray our devotional prayers. Invocations to Jesus, Master. Jesus, Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus, Master, Deliver pain thoughts and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of make me your faithful imitator. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, live in me so that I may live in you. This life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus' life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus' truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus' way, may I be example. Jesus' life, may my presence and consolation everywhere. Amen. Prayer to St. Paul the Apostle I bless you, Jesus, for the great mercy granted to St. Paul in changing him from a bold persecutor to an ardent apostle of the Church. And you, great saint, obtain for me a heart docile to grace, conversion from my principal defect, and total configuration with Jesus Christ. Saint Paul the Apostle, pray for us. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, and the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations, obtain legislation inspired by the gospel the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us.